The Lord showed me demons from beneath the earth and beneath the water. These demons from the inferior regions of the earth are now displayed on the screens. They are characters we see in movies, animated cartoons, and video games. The Bible says in Exodus 20 verses 4 to 5, You shall not make for yourself any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down yourself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. This is the word of the Lord given to the children of Israel, which we will preach at this time without removing or adding anything, because the word of the Lord is complete. The Lord has revealed himself to me so that his people can be prepared to attend the wedding of the Lamb. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I put myself in your hands to deliver this message. Glory to God, who visits the wickedness of parents and their children until the third and fourth generation of those who hate him. One day, while attending an evangelical gathering with a brother who was preaching, he said to the congregation, I have come to Central America and Mexico because I want to reclaim all the land that the devil has conquered. I want to claim the land of Central America for the Lord, for the devil has invaded and conquered our land through TV and media. The enemy has invaded our nations with his television programs. He has introduced his soap operas and filled our nations with corruption. He has conquered the children through demonic cartoons and animations, and our young people are contaminated with his demonic programs and technology. Our young people are no longer clean and innocent. The children and the young are not as innocent as they once were because of television stations, satanic productions, and games. The devil has transmitted stain and impurity to the world through TV. The word is prophetic when it says that God visits evil for the commandment of the Lord forbidding the construction and making of idols, the representation of images from the sky, from beneath the earth, and from under the sea, is not just for the children of Israel, but for future generations as well. The Lord prophesied in Exodus 20 verses 4 to 5 that through the making of images from the sea, the earth, and the sky, corruption would come. The Lord knew that through these images, idols and false gods in animation, video games and movies, his children would be contaminated and stained and removed from his presence. Thanks to the representation of the unseen world and demons depicted in video games and movies, the presence of God is being removed from his children. When they are attached to image idols and representations of things from the unseen world, and because of what is projected on screen in cinemas, God's children are losing the presence of God. The Lord said, You shall not make for yourself an idol of any kind or an image of anything in the heavens above, or the earth below, or the waters under the earth. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is against men representing things from above, from beneath the earth, and from under the sea. The Lord knew that television would project evil on screens for the world to venerate and worship. This Bible verse transcends generations. When the Lord gave this commandment about making images thousands of years ago, television did not exist, YouTube was not present, and there were no television screens. We all thought that the Lord was referring to idolatry in terms of making and sculpting statues and images of wood or carving stone. Meditate on this Bible verse, for God's children are now contaminated and infested at the end of time by representations of things from the sky, the underworld, and the submarine kingdom. On Thursday, before leaving for the campaign in Mexico City, we were in the presence of God praying. Whenever we seek Him, the Lord speaks. The Lord then gave me a vision. The day before Thursday's service, in the afternoon while we were praying, I began to see cartoons in the vision. Initially, I saw The Roadrunner, then The Devil of Tasmania, and many other cartoons shown to children on television. In this vision, these cartoon characters were alive. They were not just animated characters. They were living beings. They became alive and turned into real demons. We often think that animated cartoons are just drawings created by artists, but in this vision, I saw that these animated characters were alive. They were not mere imagination. They had transformed into demons. Thus, behind every animated character that children watch, there is demonic influence. After seeing these cartoons transform into demons, I saw a scene from a movie. 
I don't remember the movie's title or the Hollywood actor involved. In this vision, there was a movie scene with male and female actors. Something terrible happened. I saw the actor's face beginning to melt and recede, revealing another face, a demonic face. Inside him, a terrifying image emerged, a demon. I saw demons living inside the actors and actresses. I witnessed the transformation of this Hollywood actor into a demon. While people watch movies and enjoy the scenes, I saw what was inside them. I observed pieces of skin falling off the actor's face to reveal a dark demon. This showed me that there are demons possessing Hollywood actors. I said to the Lord, First you showed me cartoon characters, and now you are showing me demons dwelling in Hollywood actors. I asked the Lord about this vision, and I heard his voice instructing me to read Exodus 20 verses 4 to 5. You shall not make for yourself any graven image or any likeness of anything in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. In conclusion, the vision the Lord granted me serves as a powerful reminder of the dangers that lie in the representations of the unseen world through media and entertainment. The Bible's commandment against making graven images and idols is not just an ancient decree, but a timeless directive meant to protect us from the subtle yet potent influences of demonic forces that can infiltrate our lives through television, movies, and cartoons. As we reflect on this revelation, let us remember the gravity of the commandment in Exodus 20 verses 4 to 5 and the profound implications it holds for our lives today. The Lord warns us that these representations are not mere artistic creations, but can be vessels for corruption and demonic influence. We must remain vigilant and discerning about the media we consume and ensure that we guard our hearts and minds from being contaminated by these unseen forces. May this revelation inspire us to seek God's protection embrace his word wholeheartedly and cleanse ourselves from any negative influences that might have entered our lives through these modern channels. As we prepare ourselves to attend the wedding of the Lamb, let us strive to live in purity and align ourselves with God's will, keeping our focus on him and away from the deceptions of the world. Thank you for listening, and may the Lord bless you with wisdom and strength to navigate these challenges. Glory to God! who remains ever faithful and just. In the name of Jesus, amen.